monday.com dashboard examples for project management hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you monday.com dashboard examples for a project management i'll show you what is a dashboard how it's uh, different from a board and how to use a dashboard within monday.com so let's get into it first of all you're going to actually open up your monday.com i have opened up my workspace right here uh, you can sign up for free with monday and you will get right here monday is a project management software and a crm so once you sign up for Monday, we get our own workspace. Now on Monday, we have a workspace and each workspace has its own boards that we create. For instance, my main workspace has these projects or boards that I have created. And you can see each board has its own task, has its own groups that I have created, has its own views. And what I need to do is I need to open up a board and I will be able to check out everything that we got. But we also have a dashboard option available on Monday that will actually give me access to all the boards at one time and all of the tasks that I have within a workspace and I'll get them all in one dashboard. So that is the difference between a board and a dashboard because a dashboard can have multiple boards in it. So let's actually get into it. Let me show you how to create a dashboard and how to add widgets into it. So in your workspace right here, you'll get the add option. Click on add and now you can click on new dashboard. So you have to give your dashboard a name. Let's call it test for now. Then we can select if it's going to be a main dashboard or a private one. So let's actually go with the main and click on create dashboard. And there you go. You will get your dashboard in seconds. So this is my dashboard now. And you can see we have different widgets that we can add to a dashboard. We have add widget option here. And some of the dashboards are given here. You can see add widgets to visually view your board data. Now dashboard is also a way to actually check out all of the data and the tasks that you have added on a board visually. So if you like to work uh, with calendar view, if you like to work in a Gantt view, then you'll be able to actually uh, use dashboards very efficiently. We also have connect board option that will allow me to choose the data source. This is where I can add multiple boards. And then we have a search, of course, we have person in person. This is a filter right here. We have share option. You can also share a dashboard with your team members. Uh, similarly, how we invite someone on Monday and share a board. You're going to click on invite by email and you will enter their email address right here and share this board. So first of all, let's add some widgets. I'm going to go ahead and add a calendar widget right here. So I'm going to select this one and now connect boards to get started. Before even the widgets, we can actually get the data. So let's actually connect the boards. I'm going to select two of my boards to add into a dashboard. Click on done. And now the boards will be added right here. And we also have our calendar view here. Let's add another widget and it will open up a drop down for me now. We have chart, create chart widget to visually show data from your boards. Numbers. So these are all the examples of different types of dashboard. This is the first dashboard that you can create on Monday and it's going to be a calendar view dashboard. So this is the first one. Let's create a chart dashboard. Click on chart. And now if I scroll down, we also have a chart. Uh, on monday.com, this actually looks like a whiteboard because we have a calendar right here. And if you scroll down a little bit, and now we also have a chart. So this is a, a chart example of a board. We can also now drag and drop uh, this uh, widget according to us and wherever I want to place it. So you can see working with Monday becomes more fun with a dashboard. So I'm going to actually place it in the middle here. Or if I want to customize my dashboard a little bit, so I'll actually drag it and place it right here so I can have another one next to it. So I'm going to place it here. Let's add another one. Click on add widget. And this time I am going with numbers. Get a quick view on all number columns. So if you uh, deal in finance, if you have sales, so then this dashboard will come in really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the number one. Uh, the numbers dashboard and this is the dashboard we have let's actually expand it a little bit so that our dashboard is customized and it looks aligned so this is what i'm going to do perfect you can see now we have a numbers dashboard as well uh, sorry numbers widget as well so my uh, dashboard now has a calendar widget we have chart we have numbers 
Let's add another widget right here. Uh, so this one is going to be the Gantt plan track and present your, um, you know, data visually. So this one, what I'm going to do is this widget is going to be, I'm going to actually expand it a little bit more. Perfect. Um, so now my dashboard has a Gantt view as well. Let's add another widget. I actually want to show you all of these file gallery. This is actually a really good widget to add if you want to manage and collaborate. And we also have more widget here. So you're going to click on more widgets and it will open up the widget center for you. Uh, and you'll be able to find the widgets that you want. Uh, so we also have a map. We have card. We have uh, pivot boards. We have board updates, time tracking, timeline, inbox, and workload. Okay, so I want a time tracking one as well. This is really important in my business. So I'm going to click on add widget and the time tracking widget will be added right here. I'm going to click on add widget, go to more widgets again. And this time I will be adding my text right here. We have text too. I saw an inbox one because that was an important part of our communication perfect inbox stay on the top of the conversation from a several boards in one place so if you want to communicate between several boards on one dashboard then you will add the inbox you can also customize your search with your category we have media personal apps by monday and marketplace apps as well click on add widget and the inbox widget will be added as well it's too big what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually decrease the size a little bit and place it here we can also add different apps Click on more widgets, go to the marketplace apps and here you will be able to add different apps, integrate apps into your dashboard. Like I can add micro workers, I can add Google Calendar um, and much more. So this is my dashboard on Monday now. You can see it looks perfect. So to add a new task or add anything, click on add right here. Like this is a board view and I'll be able to add a new item. So this works just like a calendar view on our board. So if you want to add anything, just click right here and add a task. Um, so I can create a new task here. Similarly, if I scroll down a little bit, uh, now I will be able to access my chart within my dashboard. Uh, I am getting the numbers. I can, of course, customize it according to me. And then I'm getting time tracking, inbox, what everything I wanted, monday.com gave it to me in one dashboard. So this is actually a really good way to connect your boards. You can see we have two um, boards connected. You can also search by a board name. Keep in mind that each workspace can have its own dashboard, right? This is a dashboard right here. So if you want to maybe connect another board to this workspace, that's not possible you can connect the boards within the workspace that you have. Uh, so this is our dashboard. Click on these three dots right here and we have open in a new tab option, open in full screen, rename, move to. Uh, we can move it to a folder or we can also move it to another workspace. Uh, so this is really good option that we have on Monday. We have changed uh, type to private. Uh, add to favorite, duplicate or also delete a dashboard. So if you want to get a, a good view, you can actually open in a full screen and it will show you. You can see this is what it looks like, a dashboard on Monday. And now you can actually do anything. We can change the data. We can, of course, this is completely customizable and you can add anything if you want. You can remove anything. You can connect your, uh, you know, different um, tasks here. And once you have added a team, you can also create a task and assign it to someone within your dashboard too so this is really good for a manager or an admin position where you will be able to actually get everything this is a view and if i click on edit then it gives me the add widget option and this is the view right here so this is how you use dashboard on monday.com i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel